Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm in my car. You know what that means. We are going to be trying something today. And I have a beverage that hopefully will be tasty. Hopefully you have seen uh, Beetlejuice. It's an amazing movie. And there's a new movie out, a sequel. I have not seen it yet, but I will very soon. Uh, however, this is a limited edition, allegedly. Uh, flavor from Fanta. It is called Haunted Apple. And it just happens to be branded with uh, Beetlejuice for the, the new movie. So, we're going to give this a try. It uh, says it is spiced apple soda. I've had apple sodas before. I've had uh, apple soda, apple beer, stuff like that. It's They were pretty good. So, I have high hopes for this. Um, this is the only limited edition flavor that I know of from Fanta right at the moment. Uh, they do have some other sodas that are promoting the movie, uh, but they're just flavors, normal flavors like the orange, uh, strawberry, pineapple, stuff like that. So we're only going to be trying this one today, the Haunted Apple. So... Hopefully it doesn't explode once. Good. Ooh. That is very noticeably apple. It smells pretty good. Uh, salute. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Wow, that is... That is kind of funky. I don't really mean funky in like the way you would talk about cheese. I mean a funky smell or anything. It's just, that is unusual. It, I definitely, it's definitely spiced with what I do not know. There is salt in here though. I know that it says salt. Just before all the, the dyes, uh, so what, second to last? Yeah. <coughs> wow, though, that is, I don't know how to describe that. I, I can't describe that at all. Holy shit. It's apple, it's almost, I don't know. Maybe kind of like a spiced apple cider-ish, but man, yeah, it's like spiced apple cider, but instead of using like red apples, maybe Might have, I'm getting maybe a little hint of tartness. So maybe it's like spiced apple cider with a little Granny Smith thrown in, just instead of just normal, you know, the red variety of apples. That's, that is definitely crazy. I am at a loss. I, I'd have to give this a, a what do I want to give this? I'll give this a 7 out of 10. It's unusual. It tastes kind of weird. Just a little weird, but in a good way. That is definitely kind of funky. I like that. Um, definitely give this a shot if you can find it. I found this at 7-Eleven. You definitely need to try this for yourself. My description does not do this this justice uh, whatsoever give it a shot and uh hopefully i'll see the movie uh real soon and <clears throat> hopefully it'll be good i'm sure it will it, it can't be it can't be that bad can it hey guys just want to do a little adding to this taste testing video 
I actually have some uh, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice now, and I liked it. It was good. Um, some friend of mine said some things I don't want to get too specific on because spoilers, and I know some people might not have seen it yet. If it was uh, the original Beetlejuice movie, I'd say you've had long enough. Uh, so, fuck off. But no, this is, uh, just come out. So, uh, I'll try to be specific. Um, or try not to be specific with spoilers. But one of the characters, a new character, um, my friends were right. They did feel a little wasted. Um, but. How it worked in the movie, how how the, the story around them flowed, I guess it wasn't that bad, you know? It could be worse. It could have been, like, almost every other fucking movie that's come out, which is in the last almost, what, decade where it kind of sucks. Uh, so it was good. Um, one of the characters from the first video, uh, the first movie, uh, with what happened to them, and I'm not talking about the obvious one, uh, it happens much later in the movie, kind of like, holy shit, they actually did that, but, I guess when I look at it, it's not bad, it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, they get a, I don't know, I don't want to spoil this, but they kind of be, get to be together again, so that's kind of cool. And I will say, we know the writer, Lydia Dietz. Looks good, looking good. Um, the hair, still, no, it's a little, I don't know, I guess the, the bangs kind of, um, I kept looking at the bangs, it just didn't look right. I mean, for a cartoon... You know, the, the, the same as the haircut was in the cartoon. That worked. It was a cartoon. But in real life, it just... It just seems weird. Uh, I will also say... Love Jenna Ortega. She did an awesome job. Uh, the storyline... The story with her... Um, I guess it was... Yeah. I guess it was the storyline uh, with her... Uh, from what the, the middle ish to the end, uh, that was crazy. That was crazy, and I will say I was worried. I guess you could say, um, definitely got into the, the, the movie. But Jenna Ortega did a great job. Um, big fan of hers now, uh, especially when, um, I guess it was mostly, uh, Wednesday when I, I finally got to see that. That was great. Um, it's funny, I know lots of people were complaining that they, they cast her as Wednesday, and it's this is getting ranty, but when I first saw her dressed as Wednesday, my heart stopped, and I was like, holy shit, that is Wednesday, that was amazing casting, in my opinion, and don't get me wrong, Christina Ricci was amazing, uh, Wednesday as well. Both great Wednesdays, both great casting. But yeah. Any anyway, uh, <clears throat> back to Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Uh, if you get a chance, definitely go see it. It's definitely worth watching. Um, pretty cool. We got two good movies released relatively back to back with um, Deadpool and Wolverine and. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I've said his name a lot, so I don't know how many times I have, hopefully it's evened out to send his ass packing, but yeah, if you get a chance to see it, definitely uh, go, go watch it, in my opinion, it was definitely worth it. If you have any suggestions on things I should try, whether it's food, drink, uh, cocktail, anything, put it in the comments below, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.